We're off to the Waihaha track today, uh, the nine kilometer hike uh, into the actual hut. And uh, with uh, doing some filming along the way, it's a good three hour, three hour day each, each way. A bit foggy overcast right now, a little bit of mist, but I think it's gonna burn off. Pretty track right beside the river here. The track follows the Wahaha River for the first uh, oh, uh, one or two kilometers and then we diverge from the river but uh, we're starting to get into a, a bit of a gorge right now with quite large, quite high cliffs uh, on the far side of the river and the rock cliff probably extends another 50 meters above us and we are already about 50 meters above the river. It's quite amazing how the, the water of the, the powerful force of a river can cut its way through solid rock. Out well above the river, but you can't see the river below because of all the the thick trees, pretty densely uh, forested down there. But it gives you out in the daylight for a bit and uh, gives us a chance to strip down. We've come about three kilometers. Beginning of winter, May 2020. on a portion of the track which seems to run forever since the lookout we're veered away from the river we can't see or hear it and we're in low bush pretty dense hear the odd bird singing but this part of the track seems to go forever it's probably about three kilometers long and we come up to a, a big opening but it's a it's not boring but it's a, not the most scenic part of the track
Tons of lichen along this part of the trail. I'm not sure what that goldy colored vegetation is growing along the lichen. Probably pretty pretty color. Stings. There's other interesting species of vegetation along the way. Uh, another ground cover. Must be a type of fern. Good old lancewood. The long spiky leaves. The tree that you find in many home gardens. We're getting out of the Manuka scrub now into some low, low uh, forest. A bit of a mixture of trees here. And I see the river through the trees on my left. We've been going about 7.87 kilometers in a little over two and three quarters hours. We're on our lunch stop now, not far from the hut. The hut's, you know, maybe two kilometers away. We're high above the river here, and some pretty impressive views below with these big hollowed out, eroded holes in the rock, circular holes. It's quite interesting how they had ever be formed. A little over a kilometer to the hut now through this podocarp forest. Certainly the most favorite part of the track is this bush. The giant podocarp trees, the Rimu, the Totra, the Miro. It's a big one. Quite a tree. Totally moss and lichen covered. Beautiful.
Well, my GPS watch says we walked 10.39 kilometers. Well, I did a lot of back to and fro trying to set up the camera, things like that. And we took almost, uh, what do we have there? Almost exactly four hours. Well, that's an hour longer than, than called for, but again, with all the fluffing around, filming, things like that, uh, that was pretty normal. But we're at the hut, have another little lunch break, then head back the other way.